Today I'm going to demo something that I just discovered you can do with a Samsung Galaxy Tab that makes it, I think, one of the most powerful research tools uh, to come down the pipe in a long time, at least in terms of ed tech. Um, so let me just show you what I've got here on my screen. Uh, I've got This is actually one of the other things I really love about the Galaxy Tab, is you've got all these different ways to digest content. So I've got you know, my Adobe Reader app here. I've got this OverDrive app, which lets you tap into your local library, audiobooks and eBooks. Nook has an app for Android, Google eBooks, Kindle. So you've got all these different ways to get content uh, and start reading content for the purposes of your research. Now to do this trick, you're gonna want two other things. Um, there's a screenshot app and there is uh, an Evernote app or a Catch app, either of those. Those are both note-taking uh, apps for the, uh, that are on the Android market. So let me just get to what this cool thing is that you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Kindle app. And it's bringing up where I, was, where I last left off. So let's say I'm reading and i you know scrolling along, scrolling along. And I find a passage, and I, I want to make note of that passage. Um, with my screenshot app, take a screenshot, and you can set a timer right there. It's saying the screenshot will be taken in five seconds. You can uh, set that so that there's no delay, um, or set the delay for longer. And there, it's just taking a screenshot, and it's giving me three options. I can crop it, I can share it, or I can save it. I'm going to Let's say I want to crop it. Let's say, well, really the passage I want is just this little snip, snippet right here. So I hit crop. Now it's asking me what I'd like to do with it. I'm going to share it. <clears throat> and really there's all sorts of ways to share it, but the, the cool thing is, is we, when you have Evernote, there's Evernote or Catch, the note-taking solution you can upload that clip as a brand new note. Now you can title your note. I'll title it uh, Sample. But if you're doing research and it's a particular author, you could do the author's last name or whatever your annotation system is. And you can give yourself a little note. You can say, cool idea. Something like that, whatever. All right, so you've given yourself a little note, uh, and then you just hit the Save button. And now it's uploading it to Evernote. And I'll come over here to my laptop just so you can see it. Uh, and there it is. <coughs> so... Basically, what you've got here is you've got a way to tap into ebooks, PDFs, whatever it is you like, with the screenshot app, snap a picture of it, crop it, take whatever notes you want, and then here's your annotation system right over here. So basically, bye bye three by five note cards, um, and you've got yourself a pretty excellent research tool. That's it.